What up, though? Y'all know what time it is. Welcome back to your favorite late night show, Late Night with Nate and Adrian. I'm your boy, Nate Galloway. And I'm Adrian Brandyberg. Shout out to the No Sleep crew. Like, subscribe on all your podcast platforms. What up, though, Boogie? Woohoo! I love, I love record. I always say this, but I love days recording are the best. because, man, that just tells me in my little brain, bitch, the weekend's right around the corner. <laughs> Weekend is almost here. You know what? That is one of those days for me too. I was like, yeah, we record today. Uh, therapy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and whenever, whenever you guys listen to it, I hope you guys feel good too every time you listen to this because it it you know it feels like the weekend you know what i mean it just feels like yes. everything's freeing up all the time lines are clearing out you ain't got no fuck shit happening right now you know man exactly plus if you work at home you know yeah. <laughs> your weekend is like every goddamn day <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean come on now uh you gotta do a little <laughs> bit of work I've all, i've always said like i really enjoy working from home but you have to put those boundaries and, a, and <laughs> put those little blockades so you can have those little naps in betweeners, Man. but also get that work done. You know, working from home is, is honestly, I feel like it's harder. I feel like I'm more oh. responsible working from home than I am when I go in office or places. Cause it's like in the office, you know where you can hide at. Yeah. It's like, okay, I go to third floor bathroom. Nobody's going to be in here. When you're at home, it's like, why aren't you on this call? Why aren't you seeing this? Like, they're constantly yeah. micromanaging you more. So it's like, ah, you know. <sighs> We're all on a journey. Because but hopefully, boss, so. my bad. But hopefully, no sleep crew, you got your wine. You got your weed. You got your drink. Because we got a dope ass episode for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> for you. Oh man. Uh let's get into it though. Um, you know what time it is, y'all. Boogie, it's time to tip that hat. Yes. I'm tipping my hat. Who yes, you got, sir. Bugs? All right. Let's kick it with the young US women's soccer team. Let's give I, I definitely want to tip my hat off to them for winning. The settlement, the U.S. National Women's Soccer Team wins a $24 million settlement in equal pay. Uh, let me just say this much. $24 million in general is not a lot of money. Not they should have definitely asked for more, but that's what we women do. We like to be like, well, maybe if I just ask for this much, it'll be okay. <laughs> nah, nigga, y'all need to be getting paid just as much as the men do, okay? We're as exciting as the dudes. And so for the fact that they actually won the settlement, um, shouts out, um, shout out to them. It's definitely, definitely a move, move Congrats in the right way. So. To them. You know what I got to say to that? Yesterday's price is not today's price. Factual. You know, that's Factual. what we got to say. That. Also, uh, I'm going to double down on it even more for you, though. Okay. I'm going to go further and say they don't deserve equal pay as the men. They deserve more as Ooh. the men, more Factual. than the men. Reason being is the U.S. men's soccer, they suck. They are trash. The are women, they? I don't watch them. I honestly are, just watch the women's. They are horrible. The women have won more World Cups than the men. Wow. The women are more entertaining to watch than the, the women actually go out here and be whooping ass. Yeah. So the fact that they have not been getting paid, um, it, it's I mean, it's a travesty like anything else when it comes to women not being paid the same amount. And this is not like one of those sports where it's like people actually have to tune in and it's like, yeah. okay, well, uh, yeah. no one watches y'all games. So we shouldn't give y'all no money. It's not like that because people actually do watch oh, women's no, they soccer. Watch. Oh, like, yeah. It is hella entertaining. So I'm definitely excited for them. Uh, hopefully they get more. Hopefully they get hella Hell more. Yeah. And minutes. how ballsy it is to be like, nah, nigga, we about to sue the whole motherfucking U.S. <laughs> soccer federation. <laughs> The fact that's that they so had to sue point, them yeah. is just like that's insane in itself. Like, yeah, we know y'all, we underpaying y'all, but what you gonna do about it? Uh, nigga, sue. <laughs> that's what we about to do. Event like the people who saw that, like even the other lawyers, the judge was like, "But they women." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> if it wasn't for them, there wouldn't be no U.S. soccer team. It's, for men, it's like, what are y'all doing? Like, yeah. 
especially for a country that prides yeah. themselves on yeah. winners. Yeah. We literally winning is what we care about the most. It's like, yeah. but we're gonna cheat the ones who are winning. Like, I, uh, just, I don't get it. Keep killing it, women's soccer team. So, who you got for tipping? Uh, I am tipping my hat off to uh, Shaq. This is not uh, something out of the ordinary for him. You know, Shaq is always out here uh, blessing folks. Um, he he ran up on a family, uh, the Collins family, and, you know, he bought them, uh, took them out to dinner uh, one night, paid for the entire dinner. Um, he even gave the uh, the waiter a $1,000 tip, you know, to thank her for, uh, for her good job. He ended up mm. going to the Mercedes-Benz dealership bought them a 15 passenger van those you're looking at the picture you can see that there are quite a few children i had there. to count real quick i'm like <laughs> god damn i thought first of all i thought it was a i thought it was a fake i thought it was copy and paste <laughs> i thought it was two families like right. oh shaq helped out two families all right cool <laughs> but he bought them a 15 passenger van um he also found out that um the husband of the, uh, mr collins he ended up someone would have bad with his trucks so we ended up buying him a brand new ford uh, like f-150 oh, wow. so uh kudos to shaq for doing that but also um i want shaq to run up on me like i got student <laughs> loans <laughs> you know i got bills i got nieces and nephews so if you're trying to you know bless people with children like come on over here little nieces and nephews if shaq asks you yes i am your single father Okay, your mama died in a tragic boat accident. Okay, it's all it's all random. I love the fact that it's just a random act. It wasn't intentional. He didn't go out and 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 yeah. look for peep, look for that family, and and ask to be recorded. Like he does this left time and time all again. Time. Like he, I remember reading about him going into Target and buying uh, everybody's bills or Walmart everybody's bills or whatnot and. I'm just like, that's that's what I'm talking about. Solid. Push it forward. You know what I'm saying? He, he literally says it all the time. Like, I'm very blessed to be in this position. And the fact that he can do a little bit to make somebody day, hell yeah. But why not? Yeah, it's dope. As hell. I mean, I did see a video where he said every time he goes to the store, he looks to buy stuff for people. So, I mean, that's you've got to give him oh. heart. Like, oh, I, every I, time. I hear that. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's he looks to buy people stuff, especially uh single mothers, which I mean I think that that's dope as oh, hell. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that Papa John's money is hella long though. You know, <laughs> it's like <laughs> well, it better be now that he, he literally was like, I'm gonna take that from you, young papa. <laughs> I'll be like, uh, Shaq, yeah, I got this PS5. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He'll be like, get your grown ass out of here, nigga. <laughs> He's like, he gonna be like, not over here. Eh, eh. Uh, no, I only buy for the shorties. <laughs> like, Who the fuck are you? No. Eh. Oh man, but yeah, yo, definitely uh stupid. tip my hat to him and uh the women's soccer team, yo. Absolutely, uh, man. <laughs> you an idiot, yo. Shag will not give you no PS5. <laughs> just out of come on, yo. I mean, look, I I got you gotta try. I'd be like, look, if Shaq is like, I'm buying everybody's shit, I'm like, let me run back to electronics real I got like three TVs real quick, dog. Like, come on, come on, come on. Shaq's buying he's, my he's, shit. He's, <laughs> I'm sure he's like, he's watching people. No, nigga, everybody that's right here, right <laughs> now. <laughs> I said food only. <laughs> it's just like okay. <laughs> Matter of fact, like Shaq pulls up to Costco, I'm like, Shaq, you buying gas too? <laughs> it's like, yo, yo. Yeah, it's expensive as fuck, my boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> put out a canister out of your trunk, real man. Quick, I'm pulling out up. like eight of them joints, like Shaq, <laughs> unlet it, please. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yo, you an idiot. Oh man, let's get to this first ad. We'll be right back with the first topic. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm just over here polishing up my black watch. A lot of y'all know I'm an avid collector of watches. I got at least nine of them things in my collection, and the one that I get the most compliments on has got to be my black watch. I got to tell y'all, black watches, they have really put a lot of time and detail into their product. I got to tell you, from the watch face all the way down to, to the band made of genuine leather. I know it's genuine, but I like seeing genuine. They really have outdone themselves. So, fellas, ladies, if you're looking to upgrade your watch style, definitely check out the good folks over there at Black Watches. They black-owned. You know you want to support a black-owned watch company. 
And because, you know, they rocking with the podcast, they, you know, hooked you guys up with a promo code. That's right, a promo code. that give you 20% off of your order when you head over to blackwatches.com. That's right, blackwatches.com, B-L-A-K, watches.com. And make sure you use that promo code, late night, W-N-A. Come on, support the Black Watches. Now back to the podcast. First topic, first topic. If you have if you haven't heard, if you've been living under a rock, the Wendy Williams show, The Rain has ended. After 13 long seasons, now it has come to come to an end. So technically it's been 13 seasons, but right now this current season 14, Wendy Williams has not been on air at all due to ongoing health issues and everybody's saying that she's either dealing with dementia rumored to have a, a number of like yeah. ailments but sherry shepherd has really became wendy williams predecessor and now will have her own show is taking over the time the top the time slot and the talk show um i i don't i don't feel bad about this whatsoever i if anything i feel like sherry definitely deserves um an opportunity to to host her own show i just feel bad that wendy williams is ending the way that um it is and not ending the way that she wants to uh there's been press releases that has come out um, that she has not approved uh, by her publicist and uh, saying that she, you know, that Wendy Williams is, is happy for Sherry and, and, you know, Damar Mercury uh, has officially announced that the Wendy Williams show will finally come to an end. So I, I just, I'm just sad that it didn't, Wendy Williams didn't have a say of how her show should end. So I was curious how you feel about that. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that one. Um, I think Sherry's dope. Um, yeah. I, I wish, yeah, I mean, I don't watch Wendy's show. Like, it was a couple yeah. times I did tune in. It was entertaining when it was. But it was like, you do wish that people could leave, especially when you've had like 13 seasons <clears throat> Yeah. on their own like it would have been nice for her to tell us like hey you know my show's ending i'm moving on to something else kind of like ellen did hers you know and oprah exactly. they all left you know on like these huge you know big grand you know mm -hmm. closing out ceremony so it's, it's mm -hmm. always dope to see that um but it's cool that another black woman is stepping in place you know yeah. that is cool that that's going on um i wonder what they're gonna what are they gonna call the show is it the sherry show like uh sherry yeah show just, show? yeah you know it's the sherry uh, sherry, sherry okay you know the sherry show that's dope <laughs> she should drink sherry on every episode you know hey i'm drinking sherry on the sherry show. i like that i like you know, that i will say sherry in the i will say sherry shepherd um while she was guest hosting the wendy williams show um and she made the official announcement on the show she said you know i'm not replacing wendy williams you cannot replace a, a legend in the game you, you people forget that she was on radio for so so a long, long time for a, a number of years like this is what she does that? yeah this is what she does so i you know i want to I want to think positively and and say that you know this will not be the last time we see Wendy Williams on any platform, you know, out you know, other than hearing about her health issues, you know. I want to I want to I want to see Wendy win and continue to win. I agree, um, <clears throat> especially with the health issues and everything. Yeah. Um, you never know what is really true. I know there was issues uh, allegedly between her and Wells Fargo with them right. holding yeah. money, and yeah. a lot of the mess going on now is because you know she couldn't pay her staff. And I was like, you can't pay people if your funds are tied up. True. Um, you know, so I hope I hope they work all that out. I mean, you know, like Charlemagne says, I want to send healing energy oh. to, uh, to everyone uh, involved in the Wendy camp. But dope for Sherry. But let me ask you this question: 
do you think it's going to be as much mess? Because, you know, mess. But Wendy was a little messy. She little, is. Little, yeah, little messy. She, le- she definitely leaned in a little messy. Likes to keep a little mess stirred up. So you think Sherry is going to lean into the mess as well? Or what do you, how do you think the direction is going to go? I mean, from, like I said, I, I you know, I, I don't watch the shows. I think a lot of people do what I do. And they watch clips. Yeah. They watch clips on YouTube or on Instagram or wherever, you know, socials that they watch it. And then if you have time to watch the whole show, you'll have it in the background and peep game what's going on. Sherry has this way about her that she can make it relatable and also, you know, put put a little tea, throw a little shade in here and there. But not to the point like Wendy does. Wendy <laughs> has this; she has this this knack for really pulling out the most gossipiest things and really exaggerate or embellish, but and still make it funny. Times a hundred. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> every every other media outlet will, will yeah. throw a little bit of shade. Wendy's like, no, we are doubling and tripling down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How much shade is, did uh, the shade room throw? We need more. What did yeah. TMZ say? We need more shade. That that is that's her bag. I mean, okay. Do you consider this karma because of the years of shadiness that <sighs> she's done with so many people? I mean, let's let's be real. Um, there have been years of shade, not just on the TV show. Mm-hmm. It goes back to when she was on radio. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people do not like her. Um, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, you got to think that somehow karma does play a, a role in this. Mm. You know, maybe a small, a small amount. You know, you do reap what you sow. But the issues of her health, I don't. That's not on her. I yeah. do think that there are people that. Uh, in the industry that don't like her and we're like so happy to see someone mm. else step in to take the mantle um so i will say that um let me ask you this question though so i know you've kind of watched snippets and everything of the winning show so are you going to actually watch the sherry show i think i'm gonna I'm stay consistent with what i've been doing <laughs> <Okay>. and watch <laughs> and watch <laughs> clips <laughs> And still watch clips because to, to tell you the truth, who's watching daytime talk shows in its entirety if it's not on like at your at your job just playing or at the old nail people. shop just playing <laughs> or you said old people retirees. Okay. <laughs> Those are the only ones. But I feel like retirees now are just they're they're reading books. They're outside yeah. trying to get the clap with you know with their wow. boys. I don't what? know. You know what I'm saying? Like they have more things on their mind than worrying <laughs> about watching Wendy Williams and the. the sh- Sherry they're probably Sherry not watching show. Wendy, but they are watching Judge Steve. <laughs> you know, old oh, people God. love them some Judge shows. <laughs> Man, I don't understand the infatuation with judge shows oh god my mom has all the judge shows recorded <laughs> so this is my dvd collection of judge joe brown oh, it's like... just, she she was watching divorce court and some other one. some other show and i'm just like you... rank them because i know you watched them what are the top what are your top oh, three god. judge shows no i don't <sighs> You don't okay. have a top three? Go ahead. I know you got. I mean, okay. okay. If not top three, what what would you say is for you? What is your all time? I wouldn't show? even call it favorites. It's the all time most irritating judge shows. This is what I'm gonna say. Okay, most I'm irritating judge say, shows. I'm gonna say uh, Judge Mathis. And is he what? Where's he at on the list? One, two, three. I'm gonna say most three. Irritating. He's okay. I'm He's number three. three. Okay. Yeah, Judge uh, Mathis. Judge uh Judge Joe Brown is irritating as fuck. Yeah, he, he uh, is. <laughs> I just don't like listening to him at all. I'm like he sounds hey, like he's got peanut butter stuck in his mouth. It oh, is the worst. You don't play around with me no <laughs> more. Spit like, it out. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, come on. And it has to be, it has to be divorce court. All these new okay. all these new court shows. Where you know Judge, uh, what's her name? Um, Judy. Judge Judy is Judy Justice or something. Judge. Yeah, Justice. I heard they changed it. <laughs> yeah, 
And I'm like, bitch, who? It's still you. It's still it's, Judge Judy. It's one judge show. Where they got like three judges up there, oh, and they yeah. all talking, and they let's huddle yeah. together and let's make our decision. I'm like, yeah. what kind of show is this? Yeah, they got <laughs> a couple judge show where it's a couple married couple uh, where they are judges, and I'm like, at this point, oh, burn all respect. the shows that has judges. I'm sorry, Steve, but you gotta go as well. I, I, you know, I like judge shows when it's real judges, like yeah, in agreed. real shit. Like, uh, I got to rank. I'm not even going to say annoying, but I'm going to just say my top judge shows. Uh, judge Judy. Okay. Uh, cause she ain't take no shit. Um, True. I like Judge Mathis because he called everybody a crackhead. You might yeah. not even have no crack activities, but she was going to be a crackhead. Yeah. Um, it's a throwback. The People's Court. The whole. Dun, 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 dun. Did you just throw <laughs> the People's Court in this moment? Yes, house? with Judge Mills Lane. Let's get it on that one. Like I loved. Yo. It was so dramatic because I was like, "Oh, the music! People be walking in, swinging that door, and they walk out when they lose." And it's got like, "So tell us what happened after you lost this case." I like, did see, yeah. It's great. Like those got to be like my favorite judge shows. What were you saying? No, no, I was just gonna say I, I do see what you what you're talking about. It can <laughs> okay, listen, we all know this is entertaining, but at some level there is a grain of truth where these people are out here fighting, trying to trying to get win a, a case. Granted, they get a little money for it, but Come on now, you can't be embarrassing yourself. <laughs> so some of those are like the most outlandish cases ever. It yeah. was one, I think I saw one, no, no joke. It was like for $20. It oh, was God. like, excuse me, an old girl was up there, like, it ain't even about the $20. It's about the print. You know, niggas love to stand on the principle of shit. Yeah. I was like, you are wasting the court's time here, no. ma'am. Like. Also, I'd be wondering, like, do they fly them out for that? Like, or do you have to go on your own dime to Judge Mathis? Like, I wonder how that works. Well, I I always like, bring this up, but I um I was asked to help uh assist with a, a sizzle reel, if you will, oh. for Judge Mathis's daughter. Both okay. of their both are his daughters, um either they're trying to be paralegals, they're trying to be they trying to be something in the court, but it was a show <laughs> where Judge Mathis was the judge and his two daughters were the attorneys helping out fighting the cases and Judge Mathis has to, to pick. And w- clearly we were all faking and this was the, they gave us a storyline and we acted a plum <laughs> fool. Okay. Did you hear me? Oh, uh, I would always want to be one of the people sitting in the courtroom, just like cracking up. Like, just put me behind or in the middle so y'all can see my facial expressions because I'm about to be like everything. I am doing it all. Like, you were getting every emotion that you can get. Like, um, weird thing here is Judge Mathis actually was the graduation speaker at my college graduation. Oh, good. He actually shook my hand. I was like, all right, Judge. All right. Okay. It's like, yeah, Detroit. Was, it, was this fro fool or was it? Uh, uh, it was. The, okay. um, he didn't call anyone a crackhead. He okay. was definitely long winded, oh. um, but did not call us a crackhead. You know, they always got to go through like their whole, yeah, I used to be doing bad stuff. Now I grew up in the streets of Detroit <laughs> and I was down in the gutter just like you. And- <laughs> He was like, one day you can be a judge on TV like me. And I'm like, really? Because I got a film degree. How am I going to be a judge? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is it? I mean, hey, it's, it's all good there. But he was like, uh, anything is possible. Anything is possible when you graduate from Eastern Michigan University. God. <laughs> it's like, I was like, that could have been the slogan right there. Like, yeah, get okay. your degree. It's like, all right, judge. But I will say, yeah, I will say good luck to Sherry. Um, just to tie it back, good luck to Sherry and good luck to Wendy. Cause I, I saw that she she started a new Instagram separate from the show. Yeah, and so something, there. you know, something is boiling, bubbling, you know. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Yeah. My bad, go ahead. I mean, no, I'm just saying, but focus on your health. But go ahead. You know what's crazy about that is I don't and this is allegedly I don't think she owns the name of the Twitter or the handles like like how do you not even own your own name like that? Yeah, that's weird. That's crazy. 
that's weird, gotta, but also that's what you that's what you get for naming your show your <laughs> name, nigga. <laughs> if it's my name, I have access to my IG. <laughs> also, which allegedly, I ain't trying to stir up no mess, but although right. she's messy, uh, <laughs> allegedly she's trying to get back together with uh, her ex. <laughs> oh, I did read yeah. that. Man, I hope not. So he had a break, baby. Yeah, I mean, they had a couple break babies allegedly. I, oh, I don't okay. know. It, it was it was a lot of mess, a lot a lot of mess there. You but sounded like, like a little windy to me. I, you know, sometimes I dabble in the tea. You know, I, I do like a little black tea every now and then. But you're giving you know. me windy vibes right now. You're trying to <laughs> trying to give them sherry vibes. You know, we're trying to keep hey. it peaceful out here in these streets. Keep it real but, peaceful in these streets. But definitely hope that uh, you know, like I said, healing healing energy to Wendy and nothing but kudos to Sherry. You are <laughs> healing energy and kudos to Sherry. Oh, all right. Well, to oh, black God. well wishes to people. All right. <laughs> Let's get to this next ad. We'll be right back. Hey, y'all. We're going to take a quick pause from this episode to tell you about our next sponsor, Rose Vogue Styling. Let Rose Vogue Styling help you change the way you see yourself. Their mission is to empower you to build your confidence and look fly while doing it. Mm. They offer personal styling, shopping, and closet auditing. They need to come to my closet because it's a hot ass mess, okay? They also have an online boutique store full of pieces that will give your outfit life and have you looking right. Pieces like earrings, that's what I have on now, here, right here, necklaces, purses, rings, just to name a few, okay? Right now, our subscribers, our listeners, our watchers, you, 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 you can get 20% off when you use the code late night, okay? L-A-T-E-N-I-T-E. Go on over to their IG. It's Rose Vogue Styling, at Rose Vogue Styling. Um, easy. Everybody knows that, okay? Let Rose Vogue Styling style you for your next event or simply just help you enhance the pieces that you already have in your closet. Wow. Style is a choice. Upgrade yours with Rose Vogue Styling. Again, you can get 20% off if you use our code late night, okay? L-A-T-E-N-I-T-E. -E. Support a black business, okay? Support us. When you support them, you're supporting us, okay? Now let's get back to the show. Do -do -do. Topic number two. Yes. Here, Remy Lindholm suffers from a frozen peen at uh, the Winter Olympics in Beijing. Interesting. Yeah, extremely. <laughs> um, uh, what's the 22 Winter Olympics is out there in uh, Beijing, China, out of fear of contestants in thin, tight suits catching frostbite. Officials delayed the start of yep. the 50K race and shortened it to a 30K. However, that didn't stop Lindholm uh, from needing an ice or heat pack, you know, mm -hmm. out his Johnson uh, after spending an hour and 16 minutes on the course in freezing winds. His penis became frozen for the second time in a cross country ski. Oh boy. The first time was a similar incident last year in Finland. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I was reading this and I had to read it again. I was like, my man, why are you uh, risking frozen penis to, to get a gold medal? Um, I want to know did he win? Yeah, like, good question. I mean, did you win? Because if, if I'm risking uh, the Johnson, I got to get gold. Like, if it's that cold outside, gold is, I got a medal. Nothing short of meddling. Like, that's just, it's just the way it's got to be. And also, why are we putting turtlenecks uh, <laughs> or socks? <laughs> so, that socks. was the other thing. <laughs> I like, was like, you've had it before. So, my man's. Y'all ain't got no heat gear. Also, because it's so, you would think more dudes would be like, hey, man, the Winter Olympics ain't no joke. Like, <laughs> Dix is freezing out here. Like, it just really makes you like, is he the first one or no one else has ever came out? and be like, yeah, I was a little frozen out there. I mean, you know? to me, to me, I feel like this is a business <laughs> just sitting ready, ready and willing right now. Like, you know? I got a lot of questions. Like, did it? like freeze to his thigh did it freeze to the balls like what was this this is just like wow, yeah dude. i did yeah i did read that after unthawing he realized that his penis was uh still frozen and uh yeah. 
<laughs> and he was like, it was unbearably painful. And I was like, yeah, nigga, yeah, you were yeah. outside. You also can't put just some like a heating pad on just like an ice cold anything. Like, yeah, that just yeah. doesn't work. That math ain't math it right, buddy. <laughs> You just got to let it. You got to let it like just air out. You cannot do that. Like that is just like, but it, it still it still goes back to if it's that cold outside. None of there's no thermal gear. Yeah. Like they have like uh like Under Armour night. They have yeah. thermal gear for runners. Yeah. So what are y'all putting on? And you're not telling me that those suits are that uh thin that y'all are cutting through wind like that to shave time. Like, give yeah. me a puffer coat. Like I will be out Yo, there. Yo, stop it. That's gonna slow it down. No, that's gonna slow down on their time. Like I understand these skin suits, but they have to have better technology yeah. in order to re reduce the cold on on your body. Like, why are you going out there in plastic? That's what you're doing. You're going out there in plastic in spandex and thinking that you good to go when you done they had to shorten they have to shorten the lane uh, yeah. the the um what is it called the the race yeah the, the climbers race, the the whole field is completely shortened because yeah. it's cold as fuck dude if you in the winter olympics doesn't it make sense for you to just be overly prepared for Literally. things like this it, it was just like, you know what else is it's like, oh, so I'm going to put these warm, insulated gloves on my hands. I'm going to have these boots that protect my feet, but nothing to protect any other, you know, sensitive areas. Like, you think those thin ass pants are going to protect you in all this wind. I, I just don't get it. There's also is there's also a reason why ain't that many brothers out there. Brothers, just, we. I think we figured it out. I think we have figured out why there are no black people out there. It's like, how cold is it? Yeah. No. You talk about a permanent dick print, okay? Man, I would just again, like, you know what? Aha! I thought about it. Somebody needs to make some better suits or like, uh, peen socks, like whatever. I'm telling you, I, like, I, that's what I said. <laughs> they need some dick sweaters. Like there need needs. Y'all need something. Y'all you know how much bread you would make off of that? It was like, my man, you. you got you got your sweater. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> the coach be like, you're gonna need this out there. What is this? You're gonna need this, trust me. Like, or you know. a cup, a cup that's a insulated, cup? that's that has hair, uh that you know, that has sweater, yeah. comforter, warm, fabric. you yeah. know. Some Something. intricate knits. I feel like this is an isolated incident because yeah. I feel like the Winter Olympics has been going on for yeah. years. We have never heard yeah. of this. Yeah. And could, yeah. This is his second. This, you you were a repeat offender of the yeah. frozen peen, sir. So yeah. you should have known to protect you. You're from Finland, bro. Yeah. It is cold. Like, <laughs> how can you forget like? how that feeling was the first time? I, I don't what? understand. Maybe it wasn't that bad. Maybe it was just like, oh, this is just a one-off situation. Yeah, frozen peen. Like, this will be a good one for the guys. You know, let me tell my wife this. You know, maybe it's one of those situations like that. He just wasn't, uh, this could never happen to me twice. Uh, like, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> also, it's just like, uh, how did they even report that? It's like, oh, we've got a racer down. Seems to have got an injury. Look, we're getting more news here. My uh, dick! My <laughs> dick! <laughs> 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 like that. Like, I'm not telling anyone anything. I'm like, yeah, what happened? Uh, ankle injury, chief. Yeah, you got to wrap this thing up. I'm done. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, shout just, out to him for being comfortable with sharing them, <laughs> sharing that shit, man. Oh man, I just think about like how bad did that hurt to pee? <laughs> like it's just, oh man. And and you know what? Because like balls are naturally warm. Like warmth comes from from down there, so it's just like the boss was like, "Yeah, no, none from us, dog." <laughs> Okay, help you here, my man. <laughs> like, Yo, we stuck in between these thighs. I don't know what, what else I can say. <laughs> oh, the beans and Franks. The Franks is on his own. <laughs> it's like, he better try a better route. You better come back. You better come out here with us. 
Oh man, I guarantee you, the next Winter Olympics in four years, my man's gonna have his suit is gonna be well insulated. Yeah, <laughs> like, just... why don't you have like a a cloth jock strap or something like to add on? Like, There's got I, to be I'm something. Lost. I'm lost. Like, uh, even the little hand warmer pouches like the quarterbacks use. Like, yeah. you need to have a pouch like yeah. that. You can put the Johnson in something. Like, yeah. bro. Like, I just. Wow. And again, you know what else? You know what else? Because I feel like the winter, like I said, the Winter Olympics has been here for quite some time. Yeah. So what were the people doing back in the olden days that did not have all this technology in these space age suits? What were they doing? Like uh they weren't uh <laughs> they weren't competing. That's what they're doing. I quit. You can oh, you got man. Money. They quit. You know what? <laughs> Like he's he's got to play this up. Like when he gets back to his home country, he's like, yeah, you know, uh, I was out here doing this for you know for the country. So you got to help me thaw this thing on out, girl. Like, oh, I, well, how does that conversation work? Like, did you win a medal? No, but I did get a frozen peen. So what you gonna do for me? Uh, <laughs> like, right. Uh? What about this? Huh? <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like any woman would be like, "What? It was frozen? Let me see." Like I, I, like, oh, I just God. the curiosity has got to be like, where? Like, how was it frozen? Like, was it just frozen, or was it stuck to your thigh, your balls? Like, I just have questions. Yeah, I, I think because it happened before, he knows. Like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. All right, my dick is a little frozen. But then <laughs> after unthawing his body from all being outside for a, an hour, whatever, it, yeah, it, like it was hour, like an hour and some change. Hour and some change. He was like, yeah, this ain't the same from nah. the first time. Uh, my man's, my shit is red. See, like the first time, I don't blame him because you're like, oh, who would have thought this? Would? You don't think yeah. that that could ever happen because your yeah. body's warm. The second time, this is on you, bro. This yeah. is on you. Yeah. Like, I also don't want to do any sports where I have to be that cold. Like, I have to put on gear just to go Why? out here. Like, no. Why are you like, doing that to yourself? <laughs> like, we, at least the speed skaters, they get to be indoors. The curlers, they indoors. Yeah. Like, you are yeah. in the elements, my man. Like, Yeah. And they, they chose that. No. They decided on that. Like, hey, let's make a sport about us being out here naked as hell <laughs> and you know what also is crazy they don't get paid for that so it's like bro you are doing this under your own free will like yep. and i gotta imagine like there's no major sponsorships for cross-country skiing so you are just out there that don't even sound like something <laughs> that a business would would sponsor <laughs> <laughs> it's like hey we're looking to get sponsorships for the uh 2022 winter olympics oh yeah well what's your sport cross-country track Get your ass up out of here. Like, I imagine that's what they would say to him. It's like, you ain't got no bobsled, like hockey. Like, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's like that scene in Cool Runnings when they're like, yeah, we want you to sponsor the first bobsled team. It's like, <laughs> we have no ice. Like, <sighs> but hopefully he is fully thawed and uh, he'll be better prepared uh, next year. Well, let's uh, keep this thing on rolling, Boogie. I always love uh, y'all yes, niggas sir. tripping because yes, niggas be tripping. You know? So let's get right to it. Niggas tripping. Who you got for y'all niggas is tripping? Oh, man. I, uh, I'm sorry to to really share. I feel bad to share this story. Yeah, this is a bad one. Yeah, but my niggas is tripping is uh, there's a story out here that a two-year-old was left behind alone in a daycare center after the mother was 15 minutes late for pickup. Mind you, I had, to, I had to look this up and read about it a little bit more. This is a daycare in Florida. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna just, that's, yeah. yeah, like I'm I said, a, it's Florida. Yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm let that sit in there real quick. This is a Florida daycare center. These people thought it was okay to lock the door and turn off the lights. First off, turn off the lights because they don't want to waste no electricity and <laughs> leave this two-year-old here because a mother was 15 minutes late. Now, if anything, 15 minutes in 
in the whole totality of things is not a long time to be late at all. Now it'd be different if it was an hour or two. Yeah. I will be calling the mother and being like, what's going on? Or the right. secondary, the secondary name that they probably have to pick up or third or whatever have you. But 15 minutes, my dude. Yeah, 15 is anything you could have got stuck in traffic. Like, <laughs> uh, I did some research into that story as well. The mother was actually coming from picking up her other son, yep. so he gets out of school at the exact same time. Mm-hmm. Um, she said this has happened before where she's let the staff know that, Hey, mm-hmm. I'm picking up my other kid, like, can mm-hmm. you wait? It's just like the audacity, it's like there's something wrong with people nowadays where yeah. it's like you are the adult you are in charge of the children what in your adult mind makes you think it is okay to one leave a two-year-old in the dark in a locked building by themselves like you are a day care i understand it might have been late in the evening like, we don't do night care but you are still a daycare. <laughs> like that is your yeah. job yeah your one job is to make sure there are no kids left behind yeah, it the the name of the daycare is Kindercare, and uh, she found out the mother found out uh, two of the workers had left the daycare center at six twenty, just eight minutes before she arrived. Uh, they have since been suspended, uh, and the fine. pending investigation <laughs> clearly they're investigation. no longer going to be working <laughs> for them at all. But the fact that they had to bring the firefighters to come. And break down that damn door to get this kid out is that 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 tells me uh, that there is no there's no sense of the, those two co-work those two employees c- clearly do not care about their job or the safety of children and should no longer be responsible to be around kids <laughs> whatsoever and kinder care needs to pay a fine. And be shut down as well. So kinder care is about to be sued. Kinder care is huge. They have like daycares all over the country. What's crazy about this is that weak ass apology that they gave. Oh, we are aware yeah. of the situation and we will do more training. Like, what yeah. does more training got to do with anything? You have scarred my baby. Yeah. And I'm about to sue the fuck. This is now Nate Care Daycare Center. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is mine. Not only that, though, but um, I'm not waiting for the fire department to get my baby out. Like I'm grabbing a rock kinder care. This is on you. <laughs> like, like I'm getting my kid up out of there and I'll deal with the concept. There ain't gonna be no consequences, but I'll deal with talking to the fire department and the police. Out of, like, I had to get my child out of here. Like, and they're two, like a two year old. And this is not the first time this has happened. I think we did a story last, last year where someone left a baby in a daycare. Like, how do you miss a whole kid? Like I, I got to what are y'all check off policies like when y'all are going through, you know, turn the lights off or anything like, oh, yeah, don't forget the kids. Like that should be number one on the checkoff list. I don't know. It's just uh, that's crazy. It's just to me. Sad. But um, get but your my, money. But, oh, she's about to get paid. <laughs> That little girl's college tuition is paid off. <laughs> like, Her face looked like mommy. And the only reason why, I don't know if if you uh if you read this, but the only reason why she was able to see her daughter was uh the two-year-old was because the two-year-old grabbed a chair and pulled it up to the door to stand up near the, the window. That's the a door, smart two-year-old. Just so she can be able to see her mama when she comes. <laughs> That is a smart. I'm not. A, I'm not a parent, so I can't speak to the fr- how frantic I would be. But let me tell you, there would be some type of inner rage, like I'm hulking up and yeah. running through this breaking door. Breaking down that dumb. I'd have like, been like, "Baby, get to the side. Get right. to the side." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm about to ram the shit out of this motherfucker. Man, like, <laughs> I'm throwing everything through the windows. You about to just, on camera, dad breaks in daycare to get baby that was left. <laughs> Damn right, and I'll do it again. Yeah, I'll, I'll record. Like, you see this shit? I'm about to break this door. 
Right. I, uh, I, I'm protecting my, I ain't stealing. I'm just getting my baby. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but yeah, them niggas is tripping. Who do you got for you niggas is tripping? Uh, my niggas is tripping is going to none other than Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Not really a nigga, but uh, he is a crazy ass cracker. Um, I mean, I'm sure most of you know what's going on. We are on the brink of World War Three, which is insane to me. Uh, think about Putin is doing air quote special uh, Operation. military operations in Ukraine, um, which is nothing more than I want your shit and I'm going to try to debo it. Um, it is what it is. We know what has been going on for some years when it comes to Putin. I mean, you know, Trump sold us up the river to his to his homie Putin, uh, pushing P over there in Russia. Um, um, I'm of the inkling. I don't necessarily know where I. I'm on the side of it's. It's fucked up for the people in the Ukraine because okay. you're innocent people, and it's like we got one little dick dude who wants to take over the world, and he just feels like he can push everybody around. Uh, um, I get bits and pieces of it as far as like we're a part of NATO, so they're one of our allies. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we may have to step in and do some things, but it's like why? Why are we at this point, man? It's like can we all just get along like <laughs> i just don't get it it's like this country is like nah bro we chilling we just want to be a sovereign name we just want to be peaceful and you're just like i don't like that so i'm gonna take your shit and i get that that's how a majority of this world has been formed people have been yeah. taking other people's land but it's 2022 dog like chill out i chill out. yeah i'm i'm ready for I'm I'm just ready for all of these leaders that have no business being leaders to die to, to <laughs> just get out of however however they they are removed. But I just want them out of the, these spaces. A lot of a lot of countries are being affected by dumb mm -hmm. people in power. Yep, and the people that are in power don't see any of those effects except for the people of the country man they literally do not care about anyone else it yeah. is just like what is going on um yeah it's one of those crazy things where it's like you know yeah. united states we got like the biggest baddest military and it's like you want them to take people out but at the same time you're kind of like uh this is gonna it, like, we just know what's gonna happen yeah like okay the the, the russian troops didn't <laughs> ask to to be in this, to be involved in this, but now they gotta continue. They gotta fight for their country because if not, they gonna be shot dead yep. or jailed. <laughs> Got if a they mad man. <laughs> you know what's crazy in all of this when it went down of they invading the Ukraine. The Ukraine social media manager was like tweeting about the shit, yeah. like tell yeah. Russia how you really feel. And I was like, damn, y'all are bullying yeah. <laughs> Russia through the tweets. It's just like it's a crazy time where your country gets invaded and y'all are tweeting. You yeah. know, it's just like, damn, what is going on? But I've been trying to, like, not visualize a lot of what's been going on as far as the bombings and stuff, because like, you want to protect yeah. your peace, because it's like, yeah. it's really messed up that innocent people are going to die over this. Like, just, you know, yeah. get it together. And I wish it was as, as simple as, like, let's aim our nukes at them, but they got nukes, too, so they're going to aim them at us. So it's, it's like, yeah. what do you really do? Um, I saw there were lines of people who were like uh, at the ATMs getting money, trying to leave places. So it's also like, but where are you going? They're like yeah. surrounding all the borders. So it's just, it's just really crazy and scary. Um, yeah, I, I saw that they know. were walk. I, I saw that there are tons of people walking to Poland and walking miles and miles to Poland. Yeah. But yeah, there are Russian troops over there too. <laughs> It is really just like how this is. I, I'm so confused because it's like I know there are allies, so you got to help your allies. But then it's like Russia's, China is their biggest ally, and it's like you don't want to get in any type of beast with them. So it's just like, man, can y'all just like let's all hold hands, kumbaya, let's sing it out, like you know, let's just you know not do this, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm so over. I can we? How about how about the? How about we all agree? Let's just take all the leaders and let them fight it out. <laughs> well, Joe's going to fall asleep. Uh, I don't know. I feel like uh, Putin might actually have hands. You know, he is Russian. He must, I feel yeah, like he got a big ass head. He look like yeah. he, uh, 
knock me head, but all of uh, something. <laughs> He got a strong jawline too. He look like yeah, fuck somebody up with that jaw. <laughs> Putin's like, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's going out braveheart style. <laughs> <laughs> Been drinking vodka since I was a baby. <laughs> like you know, like wake up. I mean, drinking vodka. Just, yeah, you know, it's one of those things where I'm like, man, come on, we don't need no wars because we we're still in a pandemic. God damn it, God rent damn. is going up. Yes. Like chicken wings is high as hell. Can y'all just all? Cool the fuck out, man. Like you just, just had to bring up chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody just chill out. Like, let's be cool. You know what? You know what? We might need we just need hear me out here. All lady presidents. All lady presidents. Can we please? Like, like come on. <laughs> we have seen in some countries where they have all like they've got lady presidents, they are on the up and ups. We just might need to just get rid of all these Man. old ass dudes. What what is that? New Zealand? Uh uh yeah, New Zealand. Fucking, yeah, uh Singapore. Is it Singapore? I think Singapore is too. You know what it is? And they can't be old women, they have to be yeah. young Good point. Good point. Malin- they cannot yeah. be old. There Queen Elizabeth out call. here on her last uh, deathbed. Who knows still. what's going on? <laughs> still, still trying to colonize these countries, okay? Did you say on oh, her last deathbed? <laughs> yes, like, because, because there's been three or four deathbeds that she's been on. And you ain't lying. I feel like we're just all no. kind of like, well, she is like 95. Like she should have died Yo, like they, 20 yeah. years ago. Social media have been posting, the news outlets have been trying to post the same picture of her smiling for about 10 <laughs> years. Man, I was that lady couldn't smile she wanted to. <laughs> it was just it was was terrible about them. And she, they're like, they are waiting to die. It was her husband. I was like, bro, you can he's like, I want to die. Like, yeah. why am I still here? This nigga like, was 99 <laughs> years old. 99. And it was like he was just like, you you know what it was? It was all that racism, the Nazi ties. That's what it was. That's what it was. If he was black, it'd be like, You're 99, you like you're 65. Yeah. Like that's yeah. what it would have been. And they there, have, yeah. I ain't never seen so many people trying to kill the queen off so quickly. And I was yeah. like, why are y'all so invested in this? This lady was racist as fuck. Did yeah. not like black people. I could yep. care less that a 95 year old rich white woman less. is dying. I yeah. don't care. Yeah. I the line in hell must be long. The devil is like, no, not right <laughs> now. <laughs> not right now, Queen. Uh, we got to get some more of these other niggas in here first. Queen, like, we got a we, yeah, we got a long list right now. You got to get on the wait list, but you can hold on. Right? <laughs> you got two more weeks in you. Like, all right, we'll be back. Like Jason God. Lee, all these other blogs have been yeah. like, oh, she did. And I was like, how did y'all get the exclusive? How did y'all niggas yeah. here in the United States get the exclusive before blogs <sighs> over in England? Yeah. How? Yeah. <laughs> it's just. Oh God. <sighs> Well, oh, on yeah. that note, that That's concludes how we feel. y'all niggas is tripping. <laughs> and in this case, that cracker is tripping. And, right. You know, I just, I just, I, I got to boo. I have to boo Putin. I got to boo him and anyone else that uh, is riding for him. Boo this man. <sighs> just got to boo him. Just got to boo him out. <laughs> on that note, we got one more ad. We'll be right back for the final topic hey what's going on y'all a lot of y'all hit me up like nate you super chill you know, you're super laid back all the time brother you gotta be on something well y'all are right i'm off them chummies edibles and y'all know me y'all know i'm a smoker i don't really mess with the eddies like that because let's be real a lot of them are hit or miss there's either no juice or you're feeling like a zombie the good folks over there at chummies well they out here trying to change the edible game and i gotta tell you they got some phenomenal products. They sent me over uh, some of their traditional edibles, and man, them things are hitting. But they don't only got edibles. They got juice. They got uh, your gummies. They got your chocolate bars. Whatever you like, they got it. Y'all, do me a favor. Go over to their Instagram page. It's chummies underscore edibles and get to sell some good stuff. And when you're out there, you know, filling up your cart, make sure you use that promo code 
21 Chummy. That's right. They rocking with the podcast. And because they rocking with us, they rocking with y'all. So they're going to take care of y'all by giving y'all 10% off of your first order. So again, use that promo code 21 Chummy to get 10% off your edibles. All right, y'all. Let's get back to the podcast. It's the the final topic. Final topic here. Uh, Eva, what's her last name? Marcellus? I don't make sure I don't say her last name wrong. Yeah, that's, uh, that sounds about right. Eva Marcellus posted this. There's a three roach limit that she has. First roach, I'm going to act like I ain't see it. Second roach, stands up. Now I'm alert. Third roach, bet you got roaches. It's time for me to go. Uh, I, just, I got so many questions like wh- what was the conversation like why are we even why is there even a roach limit yeah what's your I, roach limit I don't, uh, one <laughs> if I see it I gotta get out I gotta go cause I don't so you are leaving yeah I don't play with roaches I don't play with bugs I don't play with yeah. any type of insects uh, I flip out and I'm very clear that I, I don't play around with that I remember I remember there was a spider. I saw one or two spiders in my friend's studio apartment, and it was a garden union. I was like, oh, you get spiders <laughs> down here. I'm I, I'm out of here. Like, it's time to go. So Yeah, I, I, I fucking hate spiders. It yeah. is like, I will kill them, but I also have like this insane fear of them. Mm. So I will step on them like 35 times. Like I know you was gone after the first squish, but I got to get my other 34 steps in. Oh, you out here, mariachi. Yeah. Maria, da, 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 da. I am, got your ass. Like, <laughs> I talked to them before I killed them. I was like, you picked the oh, wrong you, house. You, you, that, you that I person. am that person. <laughs> oh, you was in you the wrong house, in, You just gonna come in here and think you can just walk around in this you don't pay rent up in this bitch um if it's like ladybugs shit like that like i will shoo them out the house but spiders you're dead um roaches i never had roaches but if i were ever in a place um where it's one it's a it's a one roach rule for me i see i'm with you i gotta go um, because roaches have the tendency to get in your clothes and yep. your bags. Yep. And then when you take your bag home, now you got roaches. Roaches like, travel. They they do. They travel. <laughs> they know how to travel well. They travel in oh, groups man. sometimes, and they you know they try tra- travel pregnant. Oh, you know and them little baby eggs we breed nothing that's, but other that's roaches. What they do. <laughs> 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 you an idiot. You're an idiot. Oh, uh, it's I, I tell you, I had one roach experience, which was horrible. I used to work in a call center and oh no, this Not is one of those at reasons the call center. at the call center. This is one of those reasons why I don't do potlucks. I am a strict no potluck type of nigga. Oh, like, no. I need to see you at one. I either have to really, really trust you. Like Boogie, if you was like, I'm cooking something. OK, cool. I know Boogie Boogie's clean. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. If I don't know you, I got to see you rip the seal off the packaging. This uh, young lady had brought a oh, crock no. pot. You know how Negroes like to make the oh my taco dip is the best. Oh, you had never had no queso taco dip like mine. And I was like, okay, cool. This young lady had a crock pot that had roaches in the crock pot in oh, her little God. crock pot bag. Oh, as soon God. as she opened it, it was like, what are those? It was oh, like God. those are roaches. So they had to close down the entire call center. And fumigate the entire center wow. because the first two floors, you know, had roaches on them because of one person. Wow. One person. So I was like, yeah, nah. No, thank you. Then they had this whole thing of like, you can't bring any food, no more potlucks, you can't have anything in your desk. And I was like, all oh, because one person. It was like, how many roaches did you have in your house? This was she only had a couple. A f- she had uh she had multiple families. That yeah, was roach the- farm. <laughs> <laughs> she is farming roaches. She had a roach <laughs> kennel, okay? And it's just like, girl, no. I I just and you know, some people who it's like second nature. Oh, it's nothing but a roach. You grab a shoe and you can get them off the, the wall without smashing them. And I was like, no, nigga. 
yeah, roaches no. deserve to be outside. I'm already scratching like, myself because <laughs> uh, just the thought of it. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't play around with that. I'm. No. I grew. There were a couple homes, a couple apartments. We definitely had roaches, and I was that person. Like, Mama, get this, Mama. Ah, ah, ah. Like when the lights come on, they, you know, they they spitter spatter, they scatter around. You know, come on now. I just, never had the roaches. My bad. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. I just uh, I feel for anybody that have them, but uh, you won't you won't see me in your house. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say that right now. I've had spiders growing up, like living on the ground floor, and I've had like centipedes, but never Ooh, roaches. Yeah, and I've I've seen a couple centipedes, and I'm like, ah! them bitches. I I am like king of the raid. Like I will get the raid spread. I bug barrier the entire crib. I'm also. I feel like in a former life, I might have been like a tormentor, you know, of, of some sort because Ugh. I will spray and I will watch them break dance until they die. Like I will spray a spider and I'm like, oh, you shaking. Huh? <laughs> the chemicals is getting in you. Die. You, get, you get so excited about it. <laughs> I do. Unfortunately, I was like, you picked the wrong house to crump come in here, motherfucker. You know, but yeah, it's just like, no. If you if you did see, because we only have like the one roach limit, if you did see the roaches at your homie's house, do you have to? It, does this change y'all's friendship, or is it just like I'm still your homie? I just can't uh, go to your house. I can't ride in your car. I can't eat nothing that you bring. Well, first Where does of all, I would definitely that? tell them initially. Hey, my man, uh, you got roaches. Uh, you got roaches. <laughs> <laughs> The, you know they find a way. No, 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 no. I do. Oh, oh. I got water bugs. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a difference. It's, it's a big difference, but it's, it's, it's a big old, ass difference between a water bug and a roach. Like, it's a big old difference. But yeah, my oh. relationship would definitely change. I'm gonna definitely tell them like, yeah. So <laughs> we're only doing. Uh, outings outside yeah. of homes because yeah, you will be not be in my home <laughs> and I will be in not yours. I won't be in yours as well as I'll make sure like th- places that that I know that are <laughs> sterile. Wide <laughs> open spaces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of wind flowing, circulation. Not putting my bag anywhere near yours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, very, matter of fact, I'm going to sit at my own separate table. Yeah, like. very cautious. <laughs> very careful. Very careful. And then, like, I will let them know initially and never tell them again. Because I hopefully they will, they'll remember. Because it's going to be so traumatizing for me Yeah, to be in a home where I see a roach looking at me looking at him, looking at me. You know what I mean? Roaches back, so you ain't gonna tell him we got roaches? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> um, I feel like, yeah, I gotta tell you, and I, I, I'm I, just, I'm not hanging out with you at your crib anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like, nah. Even if you go through and get the fumigate, you get a brand new house, I still will not go hang out with you. Yeah, no. Um, now, if you see some of your other homies wanting to hang out with said homie, do you tell them, hey, he got roaches, or do you let them find out on their own? Like, I don't want to spread no rumors, but he got roaches. I mean, that's a very good question. I don't know if I would tell them. It depends on how close I am with said yeah. other friend. Because if it's you, I'm going to be like, yeah, nigga, uh, I stopped going <laughs> to his house because uh, he got roaches. Please tell me, man. I don't care if we've only known for a day. Like, please, hey, 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 I know you're cool with him, but he got roaches. Like, please let me know. Yeah, like, yeah. You got to let people know. You you got to let people. One, I don't hang around people that have roaches. I just, most people are pretty clean, you know, so it's just like, uh, like But you, you remember, you remember the bed bug epidemic? Yeah, that was bad. Is that still going on or have they kind of got that under... That's a good control. question. You know, like, Chicago was number one. Yeah, it was. Ooh, I was like, what are y'all doing? Hey, you know, it's like I also been in a call center where they seen bed, but I've been in a lot of call centers. I've been in some call centers and there was a bed bug outbreak. And it was just like, y'all niggas Ugh. are dirty. Like, <laughs> you're not taking a bath. Like, what are you doing to where you're not washing your sheets? Like, ugh. yeah, you got to wash everything like, constantly. They gotta put a tin up yeah. and fumigate your whole crib. Like, yeah. I don't ever want to be that dirty. I don't even know how. I, 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 but I that's not a dirty thing. Bed bugs is not a dirty thing. 
Oh, okay, I thought it was dirt. I thought you was just a dirty no, ass. No, it's it's more so like bed bugs come around in the winter time and they try to find um creeks and and holes and and areas where it's warm. So they they go into houses. <laughs> They like, yeah, this bed is a perfect place for me to set up shop. Ugh, just, Ugh, yeah. Whew. Tell uh, your friends they got roaches, y'all. Yeah. Tell yeah, them, please. Just be a good friend. Just be like, please. Hey, got roaches. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, man yeah, this show a, went fast. Girl. It really, you know that that hour it sneaks up on you really quick. If wow, like, we just started. You know, we literally just started. But I, I yeah. appreciate the time, though. I do for real. I do. You know, it's always fun kicking in with you, Boogie, and you know, right. talking this shit for the No Sleep crew. We appreciate y'all for checking in on all your podcast platforms. Please like, subscribe on everything. Also, leave us some comments. We are trying to get better with this. So please, please, please leave us some comments. Tell us what you want to hear, what you like, what you don't like. You know, we ain't gonna yeah. listen, but still tell us, you know. Yeah, we won't <laughs> listen, but we we'll still, you know, take it in. Yeah, we'll know? put eyes on it. You know, yeah. what you got for the people, Boogie? And as always, you know, hit that bell for the notifications. Hit okay? it. Hit also, it. I'm going to say, oh, go ahead, Boogie. I don't know if you got something else. No, that was it. Also, man, please, 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 um, you know, uh, buy stuff from our sponsors. Please. Hey. They are all black owned. They are out here trying to. Uh, further their companies and by you buying from them you are also supporting our podcast so please Facts. support our black owned sponsors factual we're all out here trying to make it let's continue sharing that love that wealth you know that growth let's do it for real for real well boogie this has been another dope episode of late night with nate i'm your boy nate galloway Adrian Brandenburg. We will see you guys next week as long as oh, World God. War III has oh, not God. popped off. <laughs>